Assalamu alaikum viewers hope you all are doing well today we will get to know about gene therapy Gene therapy is a treatment in which the genes that are missing or not normal in your cells are replaced with normal genes. It is the treatment of disease by repairing or reconstructing defective genetic material. Now at first we should know what are cells and genes and how do they interact. What is the relationship between cells and genes? Cells are the basic building blocks of all living things. The human body is composed of trillions of them. Within our cells, there are thousands of genes that provide the information for the production of specific proteins and enzymes that make muscles, bones and blood which in turn support most of our body's functions such as digestion, making energy and growing. Now let's see how the gene therapy works. Gene therapy can be performed both inside and outside the body. Sometimes the whole or part of a gene is defective or missing from birth or a gene can change or mutate during adult life. Any of these variations can disrupt how proteins are made, which can contribute to health problems or diseases. Now let's see what is the new gene correction therapy for DMD, that is Duchenne muscular dystrophy. One of the most promising treatments of DMD is gene therapy. This involves delivering new genetic material to cells to overcome errors or mutation on the dystrophin gene. DMD is an inherited genetic disease. A gene is very large molecule and the gene for dystrophin is the longest known human gene. A current research is being done to develop a cure for DMD, which is a genome editing technique called CRISPR or Cas9. It is being investigated as a DMD therapy. It aims to fix the mutation in the patient's muscle cells. So these cells can produce a working dystrophin protein by adding and removing sections of DNA depending on the exact gene's mutation underlying a patient's disease. Now I have a question that is DMD a good candidate for gene therapy? The answer is yes, the recessive nature and slow progression of DMD make them attractive candidates for gene therapies that could restore dystrophin production in affected areas. With gene therapy, scientists develop opioid-free solutions for chronic pain. A gene therapy for chronic pain could offer a safer, non-addictive alternative to opioids. Now what are these opioids? Opioids are natural or synthetic chemicals that relieve pain by binding to receptors in the brain or body to reduce the intensity of pain signals reaching the brain. This works by temporarily repressing a gene involved in sensing. Now let's see how the gene therapy can be used to modify the cells inside or outside the body. When it's done inside the body, the doctor will inject the vector, that means virus. Its ability to cause infection is removed, carrying the gene directly into the part of the body that has defective cells. In gene therapy that is used to modify the cells outside of the body, blood, bone marrow or another tissue can be taken from a patient and specific types of cells can be separated in the lab. The vector containing the desired gene is introduced into these cells. The cells are left to multiply in the laboratory and are then injected back into the patient where they continue to multiply and eventually produce the desired effect. 
Gene therapy holds the promise to transform medicine and create options for patients who are living with difficult and even incurable diseases. That's all for today my dear friends. Don't forget to comment, share, like and subscribe my channel and please press the bell icon so that you can get all my new video notifications. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.